All right. Our next one, this is from our friend Mache. Uh, and he posted this, a little fun with the flash. Photos of my family taken yesterday at the time of posting. Inspired yesterday. by photos. So this was three days ago. So four okay. days ago took this. Uh, inspired by photos by Christina Mettenmeyer. Recently okay. posted by her on Instagram. Had to try. Yeah, it's really, you know, you've got a lot of feeling there, which is great. You know, at the end of the day, that's what we're doing with our photography. We're saying, here's something I felt or saw, and I'm passing it along to you as the viewer so that you can get an idea of what I saw and felt. Um, Alfred Stieglitz, one of the one of the grandfathers of photography, talked about that. It's the feeling that you're transmitting and there's emotion in that photograph, which really it, that's what makes it art is having a, having an emotional connection, having an emotional impact. And that's what I get out of that photograph. And I like the fact that it's black and white. I think that works really well because as Jared said, it keeps any color that might've been there from pulling your attention away from the subject. So that, that's, a, that's a good one. Bravo. All right. Thanks, all Tim. Right. We enjoy seeing you too. Yes, we enjoy having all of you here. It's super fun to have this back and forth and everything. Pete's, one of my favorite coffees. Okay. All right. This is from Mark Adams. Uh, and he said this is a snippet from the Forest of Dean in the UK. For, forest of what? Dean, like D E A N. Oh, beans. Okay, cool. No, Dean, like a dean of a college. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, de beans didn't quite fit into my head here. Okay, deans, I get. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know, it's a beautiful composition. The colors are, you know, on the on the ferns and the textures. You've got a lot of layers there, going back into the forest. Um, it's, I'm going to say what I said. It's well set up. We need a center of attention. We need something to come into the frame. Does it always have to be a person or an animal or some kind of animate object? No, but they work really well. And a person sitting there could work or standing there. You could be the subject yourself. As Mads Iverson, Mads Peters Iverson does, and many photographers do, they put themselves in the frame. You know, we have a natural affinity for other people. We have a natural affinity for other animate life forms like dogs and goats and sheep and things that move around. And that would contrast with the trees. You've got a nice frame already set up. I see a perfect spot there in between those trees where it's kind of going up like this a little bit. So that's just something to think about. Like, again, what, what could you put into the frame? We're not, as photographers, we can be directors of our own shoot, right? Remember that you are. As an active photographer, you don't just necessarily take things that come out at you, you, you put things into the frame and be ready to do that. But it, you know, by itself, it's still, it has a lot of good elements to it. The kind of like the lines flowing together of the trees that works really well and contrasted with the, uh, the ferns, but just something to think about, like what, what else could you put into the frame? Most of the time, it's about what you want to take out of the frame to distract the eye. Not always. Sometimes you got to think in terms of, hey, what could I put in there? So that's that's my thought for you to play around with on your next shoot. All right. Who else have we got? All right. Here? Here's a good one. This is from, Mustafa, or from William Mustafa. Let me try zooming in here a little bit. There we go. Okay. And yeah. 
Well, this came with a really good. So the original caption was from the seaside. And then somebody commented, uh, Mike commented, interesting composition, good eye, a lot can be done with that image. And uh, then William gave a really thoughtful, you know, what was his thought process? And he said, was trying to say the least, to intentionally be respectful of the people while trying to compose what I saw, while trying to shoot with a prime with limited few field of view or rather reach. I was trying hard to paint the emotions in the composition while cropping out all of the junk that would distract the viewer. Um, it was fun to say the least. The colors all went well with what I felt. I just hope it comes off as more than a snapshot and a fully thought out composition. Great. No, that's awesome. You know, the first thing I see with the umbrellas is the patterns. And that's that's a, a really powerful composition tool is to find patterns and put them together in your photograph. Um, what I might suggest is the sailboat. To me, like the, the center of attention is the woman at the bottom. That's kind of where my eye goes. It's, she's being, I think that's a woman. Anyway, man or woman, the person. Um, that person is being framed by uh, the umbrellas above them. Yep. So that to me is where my attention, kind of center of attention goes. And the fact that it's out of focus actually is fine with me. It's okay. The sailboat I find is kind of competing because now I've got two places for my eye to go. Um, and I would go one or the other. So either pull your camera up, have the umbrellas at the bottom and the sailboat up here. So you go one center of attention or crop it, get rid of the sailboat and have my only focus on the subject. So just think of that in terms of, you know, if you're having a conversation with somebody, you don't want to say, look at those two things at once. You would say, hey, look over there. And you point at one specific thing. And so you're having a conversation with your viewer. Give them, um, give them something to focus on. Now, what you've done here is what I was talking about in the, in the last two. You do have a subject there that our eye can go to. So that's great. So I would probably either remove or crop the sailboat and leave the person as the focal point or you could crop them out i i would think it's a more interesting photograph just get rid of the sailboat i mean i get why you got it in there and it's cool because sailboats are are beautiful but that's another photograph so make it into two photographs at a, you know shooting them differently one with the subject on the bottom that's 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 who we're looking at. Number two, it's a different photograph. We've got the sailboat out there, maybe you know, framed over to the left a little bit, something like that. But you, this is an easy fix. It's an easy fix if you agree with that. You could just do a little cropping and you're 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 all set. But I love the softness of the focus and the fact that you shot with a prime. I think you said film. Did I hear that right? I don't believe that he said film. okay all right like but you know all the other elements there work to me really well so bravo and all you could right. try these things and and repost them and we could see how it looks yeah all right i'm gonna show a familiar photo um this oh, is yes. one that you know well and the reason that i'm picking this is because our good friend amir uh, who we love. He's got great photos. Um, he posted this photo again with good news. I won the first prize in the photography category uh, at a international art festival in South Korea. 350 artists from 54 countries submitted artwork. And this was the photo that he won with. Wow. Bravo. And I love this photograph and I use it in my webinar as a great example. 
because you've got all these cool elements. You know, you've got the texture of the lilac. You've got you've got a pattern of those rows, but the pattern is broken by this little girl here, which is a really cool compositional tool. And I've you know I pulled that out specifically as an example. So bravo, well done. Would you do me a favor and if you don't mind, could you send me the whole story? Because I want I would actually like to mention that in my next webinar. Yeah, I'll uh, comment on the post that he did this, but uh, thank you. I definitely wanted to make sure Amir got the recognition from the community for uh, his beautiful photo and such a great accomplishment. Would love to see. And if anybody, you know, is watching this and you win competitions or get exhibits oh please always feel free to share them in ayp club we yeah. love celebrating photographers getting their work out there please subscribe and enable the bell so you don't miss any of our new shows like the video and please share it and leave your comments i love hearing from you and remember to get out and capture your own images of life